Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to successfully install FortiGate VM on VMware successfully using the trial license, which is the evaluation license. So there has been an update from Fortinet uh, for a while now that, um, that the permanent evaluation license replaces the 15 day evaluation period for FortiGate VM. So the evaluation license applies to all private cloud VM. What does it mean? It means that instead of having 15 day uh, evaluation period, the way Fortigate used to have it before, you now have a permanent evaluation license for your use. You can use it for your lab. You can use it for study and all that. But it comes with limitation though. The limitation is that you have maximum of one free evaluation copy per FortiCare account. It means that if you open or sign up for a FortiCare account, you can only have one evaluation copy uh, for that account. You can have more than one uh, free trial license. Then it supports low uh, encryption operation only, except for the GUI access and photo manager. So you can, you can use it for a production environment. You can only use it for lab or for study or for evaluation. At, as, as, as it is, then you have maximum of one CPU and two gig RAM, then maximum of three interfaces, firewall policies, and routes. No foot care support, no foot guard support. This is still useful because you can um, be able to evaluate and all that. So, I'll show you how to um, successfully install it on your VMware so that you can be able to see traffic and also inspect traffic based on that. Then um, the uh, trial like the 40 OS permanent trial license requires a 40 RK account. So one of the things we need to do now is open a 40 K account. So let's add on to support.fortinet.com. So go to support. So now create an account. Let's create an account. So in creating an account, you um, type in your email address and a go government user no. So create account. Check this and let's check this as well. Um, this so verify then um, next okay um, so we need to enter the code sensors um on Fortinet. So we have zero eight eight seven zero four. Yeah. So now you are you are meant to set up your password. So next And so it's with this, check this, then accept. So complete to test that the account is working. Uh, we would log in to the account to ensure that. The key again. Yeah. Spell. Spell. Yeah. So now this account is ready. Then the next thing is to download the image of Fortigate. 
you might not have access to download the image here but um, i'll drop a link to the image in the description of this video so um make sure that you subscribe to this video and share with your colleagues so that they can be able to have an evaluation trial license for their forty gate and so they can be able to you know do the lab and uh work work work, work with what they have next thing is to uh the next thing is to download the image which we have already done and uh we'll go to the folder at which the image uh was been that was downloaded so this is the image is an ovf file because we are installing on vmware and it's 7.6.0 so let's um let's extract all the images so ctrl c new new folder tt so let's paste them so and once you paste all your image so you have all this in you so one of the things you would do is to just you know launch one of them so let's double click this so we accept click next uh, so let's name our virtual machine let's name it the gt uh, fgc cyborg that's your name so let's maintain the default directory of um the installation and let's import so we'll wait for the importation so once this is imported we'll see that we have um, this install so we have the two gig memory the one virtual call uh processor and 30 gig uh, hard drive so what we want to do is that since we are not using all these um network adapter we are going to remove them from the uh, machine so let's just leave it to three move 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 so let's bridge the first one so that we can uh we can so bridging the adapter means that you're you know connecting it to your lan network so that means that once it's bridged, it's going to take an IP address from your local area network. Maybe you're connected to the Wi-Fi or you're connected via cable. So let's let that. So let's leave port two as host only, then this as host only. I will come back to networking in virtual um, environments. If you don't know it, you need to go and learn how to do networking in virtual environments. So we are dealing with the bridge mode for port one and that's what we'll work with and let's leave every other thing as default so okay now let's start and power on our FortiGate device now we have our photo gates ready one of the things you want to do is login the default admin um or the default username is admin while the default password is nothing so you just write type admin admin enter then press another enter there is no password then you have to set up your password so you can set up password and confirm so now we've entered the first thing you want to do is to configure your interface don't forget that we built the first interface so we're going to give it an ip address in the network so you still config system interface so let's do show so we have the first one as dcp and we want to turn it to manual uh to a static um, ip address mode so what we we'll do is set uh no edit box one then set set mode 
static. So this command makes um, the interface, instead of receiving DSCP address, is going to be, uh, con it will convert it to take a static IP address. So set IP. So what IP address are we giving it? 192.168.100. Dot, um, let's give it 181. Then slash 24. So now we need to allow we need to allow uh, administrative access to port one. That means we want to allow HTTPS, SSH, or or pinging as well, so that we can be able to have access to the fourth gate um, on the GUI. So set uh, allow access um, ping HTTPS. So let's leave it as that and enter. Then we need to end. So this particular command end is very important because without it, um, nothing would work that you set. So end. So now, one of the things we want, want to do is that we're able to ping our local gateway. Let's do execute ping 192.168.100.1. So we're able to ping our local gateway. The next thing we want to do is to ensure that the fourth gate have access to the internet so that we can be able to, you know, we can be able to load our, um, the trial license or the ev evaluation license and link the fourth gate to our fourth cloud account. Then we'll do um, config uh, router static. So uh, do edit one so you do set uh, set destination as zero 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 so that's our default route then set gateway as one nine two dot one six eight dot one hundred dot one then set device the device will be port one which is the uh, interface there end. So now we need to ping the internet and ensure that the fourth gate have access to the internet. Then do execute ping online. Oh, let's do 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Then one more thing, we need to set the DNS of the fourth gate so that the fourth gate can easily resolve internet uh, uh, web pages and all that. So config system DNS. So let's do show. So set. So you can use the comma um, to, to have a drop down for the next command you are meant to take. So no, I mean the question mark rather. You use the question mark to, you know, uh, have a drop down of series of commands that you can stick then primary uh, question mark so we have it dot it dot it dot it enter then you create you, you type end to be able to save the command now what we want to do is to um, get access to the GUI so we'll go straight to the GUI interface so yeah Put one nine two uh one eight one. Don't forget to put HTTPS. Now we have the HTTPS opened. Now we have our FortiGate gate device. So don't forget your uh, username and password that is set initially. Now we have this. So now is it that we use a full license? That means you are going to buy the license and and you know load it up here um if you do have the license you can use the evaluation license which we are going to use so now what we want to do is to ensure that we type in the correct um use the email address that we already start initially then with the password so click okay 
So the fourth gate would begin to load, license downloaded successfully. Now you have a, an evaluation license for a fourth gate device, which is 7.6.0, which you can use for your lab, can use for testing, can use for evaluation, can use for, you know, for your exam as well. So if you are planning to write the certification, you can use this to test and ensure that, you know, you have a full grasp of what FortiGate can deliver. So let's wait for this to load. So let's log in, admin, password. Begin. Let's set it up as later. Then continue. Continue. Acknowledge, okay. Let's use Optima. Then, okay. Now we have our FortiGate device, which is this. So here is your routing that you did on the CLI interface. Then um, you have the dashboard and um, everything is intact so you can go ahead to you know um, evaluate connect to your local line you know and ensure that you have a great time please don't forget to subscribe like share this video and you know expect more useful video from cyberpoint um take care